My name is Tim Howe. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Spectrum Designs Foundation in New York. The mission of our organization is to uh, empower and employ teens and young adults with autism and developmental disabilities uh, via working in an apparel print shop. In our organization, operationally, we've had uh, a lot of issues. Um, we've had a lot of growing pains. We were founded in 2011, um, and we're roughly 20 times the size we were when I first joined. So the growing pains of adding staff, of um, getting all kinds of minds, uh, as we say a lot in the autism community, uh, together and having them be able to communicate is an extremely difficult challenge. Um, and as we've kind of grown um, as an organization, we have new challenges such as having neurodiverse individuals manage neurotypical individuals, something we never foresaw. Um, and getting through and over those communication hurdles, um, as well as having people from different countries all in one place, um, can be a challenge. One of the things that people know about neurodiverse individuals uh, is they, they have a tendency to love technology. And um, our neurodiverse workforce are empowered almost daily by the use of AI in all aspects of their life. At work, we like to point our staff towards using AI tools to decontextualize information. For, for example, I'm both the CEO and myself uh, are both British and we have our verbose and kind of strange law school way of writing and talking. So being able to take that huge chunk of information that we send out to our staff and think is us communicating in the best way we can is maybe not the best way to communicate with neurodiverse individuals. So being able to point them to a co-pilot or a chat GPT and say, decontextualize this information. Give me the key points here that I need to know. Or I'm, I think that I deserve a raise. What is a way that I can ask my boss um, for more money? How do people do that? How do, how do people write about or talk about these hot button issues? It's, it, they're so emotionally loaded for neurotypical people. We're so used to having all of this strange context and talking in this veiled way. There's a metaphor and innuendo in almost everything we say. So being able to cut that out and just have a, have a machine or have an, a supercomputer distill that information and put it in a way that a neurodiverse individual can understand, use and empower themselves through is just the value to both the neurodiverse community and to our organization Spectrum Designs is, is untold. My hope for the future of AI is that it creates the inclusive world that we all talk about and strive for. Um, and what I mean by that being so embedded in the disability and neurodiversity community is the, the ability to make tools that can speak in the way people learn, teach in the way people learn, and speak in the way people can understand is is so unbelievably um, important and vital to growing as a society, and it will give us the opportunity to harness the brain power, the thinking capacity, and the incredible, incredible talents of disabled Americans and people with disabilities worldwide. Mm -hmm.